Narragansett Indian tribe could get another crack at running a casino here in Rhode Island. As we first reported last night, Chief Sachem Matthew Thomas will meet with Governor Lincoln Chafee tomorrow to discuss the possibility of the tribe purchasing Twin River and turning it into a full-scale casino. The Narragansett Indian tribe sought to open a Harris Casino in West Warwick back in 2006, but the proposal was overwhelmingly rejected by Rhode Island voters. Last month, Twin River's owners renewed their push to add table games at the Lincoln Slot Parlor and backed it up with an economic study that claimed casino expansion would create 650 new jobs and add $60 million to the local economy. Governor Chafee said then that he is not opposed to turning Twin River into a full-fledged casino and mentioned that he'd like to include the Narragansett Indian tribe in the deal. Today, the governor told us the tribe may make a better partner than Twin River's current over, Bank of America, in making casino expansion a reality. I want to t meet with the chief tomorrow, and I, I don't think the Bank of America ultimately wants to run. They might be the owner, but ultimately, I think that's a holding pattern. They're not in the casino business. So uh, this might be an opportune time. For, this is a legitimate proposal by uh, Chief Satchin Thomas. Chief Thomas tells the Providence Journal that although the tribe does not have enough money to buy the facility, he believes they could easily find a financial backer if the state supports their proposal. The governor and the chief are scheduled to meet tomorrow afternoon at 4.